Sorry, sir. It's just a bit early. Yeah, sorry for waking y'all up, but we actually have ourselves some newcomers on the railway. Oh, really, sir? Who except... What is that? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, it must be, uh, 6013? I'm not the only one who saw that, right? Yeah, no, we saw that. I'm sure it's not something playing tricks in our eyes? We could hear it, too. Uh, it just must be, uh, 6013. I'll, I'll talk to him later. Uh, sir, are you, sh are, are you sure that was it? I uh, will check up on it. Don't worry about it. Oh, that must be them right now. Welcome to the railway. Uh, by chance, would you be able to turn off your lights so I won't be blinded? Oh yeah, sorry about that. It's actually pretty good to be. Yes, and I'm very glad that you guys are. Alrighty, so. I'd like to introduce the new two SD50s and also our new, uh, SD7. Since 6013 decided to pull himself off work for a while, I decided to get ourselves a couple more engines to keep up with the work. Especially since the coal depot has actually been up in production recently. We need all the pulling power we can. And along the way I managed to get more than I bargained for, which was a good thing. And now with you guys here, we're actually going to uh, create the longest coal train that we've ever had on this railway. Actually as a little bit of a promotion to show you guys off. Because this railway is a real big tourist destination for rail fans and yeah, I love it. It's one of those things that I was a one as a kid, and I want to continue that as we go. All right. These three here will show you over to where the coal depot is. We'll gather up the train, and we'll move you guys out. Alrighty, uh, we were told there were two coal depots on this railway. Actually, there's three, but the main one is where we're going to be sending all uh, six of you. It's going to be a pretty long train. We're going to have some in the middle, some in the back, and some in the front. We'll see how it'll go, and we'll send you guys out and hopefully get you guys down to where we drop off all our coal so we can ship it out via, uh, sea. There's a water connection here? It's a very slight one. It goes out into the ocean, but it takes a while to get there. My grandfather dug it out a long time ago. He was actually the original owner of this railway, part of the Pennsylvania Railroad. But when all of it was bought out and eventually... Uh, CSX came across this railroad, which I bought it from. I was on good terms at the time with them, and eventually got it back. For my grandfather's sake. Which, some interesting things have happened, but... Either way, we're going to get her done. They'll take you up there, we'll hook them all up, and hopefully later today we'll be having the longest train that we've ever had. Alright, let's move out engines.
Ooh, all right, this is going good. Ah, what's up? What, what, what is going on? What in the world? What's going on back there? No idea, we're losing air pressure. This is a normal thing on this railway. I don't know if I want to work here. You're not the only one. What in the world is going on here? I don't know, sir. They did say something about pulling from the back. Pulling from the back, you say? Let's get to the back then. you have to say for yourself. They're all saying that you were pulling from the back. Ah, uh, sir, I wasn't the one pulling. Something was pulling me. What do you mean by that? Plain and simple, sir. Something was pulling me. Hard enough, too. I think something's broke. This just had to happen today. Radio up and tell the others to head forward while we back this one up so you can help bowl. Alright, sir. Saying something was pulling you? Yeah. I don't know what it was. The air just got chilled. The fog just a little thick. And then all of a sudden, I just start getting pulled heavily from behind. Like two people trying to pull something apart. Some type of eerie whistle. I don't know what exactly it could be. 
but something tells me this is not going to be the last time I see it. It was really weird, it was like an encounter of some kind. We've never had anything like this happen on this railway before. We've had on our past railway. It was a diesel though, not like a steam engine, like you guys say. We've heard stories about them as well. Same here. They always like turn out like from a bad experience or something. What, like death or something? Yes, even death. In all honesty, I've never experienced it since I was recently built. Well, when it comes down to these, it's usually they're either here because of some vengeful thing that happened, or because they have something that they can't move on from. Well, in this case, what do we think it is? It's something that we can't even tell. Well, either way, I gotta go get my night run taken care of. Better be careful out there with what we've been experiencing. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Y'all get some sleep for the work tomorrow. I'll, I'll see y'all in the morning. Just gotta take some cargo down to the coal depot and then it will take it out in the water and I'll take some empty cars back. See you on the morning. What is that? Is that 6013? I don't think that would... What is that noise? What the? I think we just lost part of our train.
What on God's green earth was that? We need to back up and see the damage. Call up the crew in the caboose and see if they can go over and check out to see if anything's broken. Yeah, everything looks fine. Same over here. It looks like they just pulled out the pins on the couples or something and just had them separate on their own. The pipes just disconnected after that. Flush the light so that they know that it's time to come back. We'll have them hook up slowly. Do you think they know that they meant to back up slowly? I would assume so. They may not be the brightest, but... Oh, goodness. Alright, everything looks fine. We'll just need to go slow to make sure we don't break anything. Wave the light. We're gonna get ready to move. I think it's gonna be able to take the weight. Yeah, I think so. What in the world do you think that was? Honestly, got no idea for you. Some kind of ghost, maybe, from the past of this railway? Maybe. We just have no idea, to be honest. That's the thing, though. There was literally nothing that could have, like, separated it at that speed that we were at. I mean, yeah, you're right, but... It could have easily just been an accident. Johnson, I know you don't believe in ghosts, but like... Do you think this was one? No, honestly, not really. I'm not that kind of person, you know it. Alright, let me uh, radio them to start slowing down and... We'll hop on. Do you think anything's going to happen on our way back? Not really. I think we just need to get back to base and talk about what happened, see where we go from there. I think you're right.
Oh good, it took a lot longer than it should have. Yeah, I just had a really weird encounter last night. A weird encounter? What happened? Well, I think I had an encounter with that ghost that the others did when the coal train was happening. It was the weirdest thing. What exactly happened? So there was a noise and then all of a sudden the cars got separated. Like half my train was gone. Gone? You mean like... Just gone? No, no, just disconnected. There was also a train that went past. 6213, were you out at all last night? No. Very weird. Looks exactly like you. Like to a T. Just with smoke deflectors. Did you say smoke deflectors? For like high speed? Very interesting. Anything else about it? It did have the New York Central logo on it. Did you just say New York Central? Yes. Hmm, so sad. If this is one of my brothers and sisters, what are they doing here on this railway? I can't believe I'm going to have to take this after what happened. I don't want to go back to that place if something's going to happen again. I swear, if something happens, I'm going to... Hey, how's it going? It's all good? Everything alright? I hear you mumbling to yourself. Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? You seem kind of stressed. Well, after the situation that happened last time we tried to take a coal train, I don't think I want to try to take one up there. Paranoid something's going to happen again? Well, yeah, that's always a thought in the back of my mind. It sent one of us to the works, so... Why would I not be paranoid? I mean, you got a point. But sometimes with these things, we just gotta be strong. Isn't that just cliche? Hey. But it's true. I may have not been alive long in this world, but... I know that we need to be strong in certain situations. It's true when things get tough. I mean, you're probably right. Who knows, maybe everything will get better after this. <laughs> and never be able to experience that again. Hope and pray, at least. That's what my driver says sometimes. I don't even know what that means. You know, in all honesty, I don't know either. But who knows, we can ask him. We have a lot of time on this world. As long as nothing bad happens. Good morning, guys. Morning. Morning. Alrighty, well, I better get back to the station so we can take these passengers where they want to go. Alrighty. I probably should get ready to get moving as well. He's right. Today's going to be a good day. are jammed. Exactly what I said. Points are jammed. Plain and simple. On both ends? How is that possible? You know, I don't have answers for everything. Yeah, clearly. Hey, watch it. I can just easily not call anyone to try to come fix it. Uh, might as well at this point. You know what? Fine. Just do that then. Well, you'll be rude like that. I'm just gonna leave you here. I hope you can't sleep, you big iron sloth. 
Same to you, Fleshbag. Fleshbag, huh? I hope they take a cutter's torch to you soon. Man, I thought you guys said they didn't have the guillotines anymore, because clearly you've lost your mind. Hey, hey, calm down. Go home, Anderson. I'm off. Oh, Everything all right? I hope you yeah, I'm just stuck here because humans. Yeah, I wouldn't say anything bad about them. It's not like they built us or anything. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Well, you better try to get some rest. Not exactly going to be going anywhere. You know what? You're right. I should get some rest. It's a good night's sleep. Hello? Hello, who's there? What the? Who? What? Oh. What the? No. Well, good morning. I'm here to set you free. Man, with the way you look, you look like you've seen a ghost. 24 hours. What? 24 hours. I did see a ghost last night. She told me. 24 hours. Or I won't be living that long. You're going crazy. No. It's that thing that stopped our coal train. And I'm pretty sure it's the same thing that the other locomotive had that in experience with. 24 hours or we're gonna be dead. You sure you're not going delusional? No. Something's gonna happen. I don't know if I want to be here to fear it. Guys. Hey. Guys. I saw it last night. I had an encounter with. An encounter with what? It. The. The spirit. The ghost. You actually had an encounter with it? Yeah. What happened? That ghost. You're joking, right? There's no way it's real. It is very much real. It's all I got, like, a couple inches from my coupler. 
Brother, what are you complaining about this time? Brother, I saw the spirit, the thing that caused all the problems that we had last time we took the coal train. The coal train, huh? Ah, the ghost is not real. You were probably just seeing things. No, seriously, brother. I saw it. Oh, whatever, you were probably just seeing things. Just listen to me about that. Are you not gonna listen to him? Brother, I'm serious. I actually did see something that last night, and it looked like that ghost. You're probably just sleep deprived, that's all. No, seriously, it looked like 6013. He was really shaken up last night. It looks like he actually did see it. Then it must have actually been 6013. He must have been playing a prank on you. But could you just hear them out? He's your brother after all, wouldn't you think you would listen to him? Ah, whatever. Sometimes you have to have a stronger brother that actually knows what he's talking about. Oh, speaking of the devil. What's going on here, guys? I saw the ghost here last night. The ghost? Yeah, as they said, it looks like you. Or something like that. Looks like me. Any other defining features of any kind? Uh, the, it had, uh, smoke deflectors on the side, uh, had the number, like, oh, uh, what was it? It was like 60, uh, si 6024, I think? 6024, huh? Oh, uh, New York Central? Yeah. That must be my sister, then. I haven't seen her since we were separated when she got sent off for doing a bad job at getting some diesels at a competition of some kind. To see who's better, diesels or steam. Oh, bah. You're just making this up. All this ghost stuff is fake. I'm gonna go take my train. Get out of my way, brother. Honestly. Would have thought we were actually gone insane. Ugh. Why is the other one really going to believe this? I actually did see. If it's okay, go on this way. I gotta get out of the way so we can actually hook up to his train. We'll talk about it later. Hey driver. What do you think of this entire situation? Well, I see it as going two ways. One, the ghost is actually real. And needs, needs some peace given to it. Or two, this is all a hope that the diesels are making up so that us steam engines look back. You sure? I don't exactly think that's really what's going on. Well, they said it looks like you, does it not? That is true, they did say it looked like me. It might be one of my siblings. Some of them did disappear to other railways. Never seen them since. All the other ones I did see were just... Scrapped. Yes, and they kept you. As of right now, you're the only surviving one. And this spirit needs release. And maybe you're the reason. You sure that's the case, driver? I would suspect so. Because you're probably the only one that can release it since you guys are siblings. No, uh, you're probably right. I haven't seen my siblings in so long. What am I supposed to do? Just be yourself. They're your siblings, so they just want to see you. Maybe you can give it release. You're right, driver. That is what I'll do. We'll talk over them tonight. And hopefully we'll be able to get this entire situation figured out. Oh, come on, brother. You have to believe me. I don't and I will not. Ghosts are not real, plain and simple. Oh, for goodness sake, guys. Give it a rest. 
Yeah, some of us actually want to get some sleep. Some. believe in the slightest. Ghosts do not exist. But brother, I just want to make sure you survive. She said 24 hours and die. That's not long for her. Come on, you can't, you guys can't be fighting over this. He just doesn't believe it at this point. But it did actually happen. I even watched drove past, past me. Oh, you're just going crazy, you old steam kettle. Steam kettle? Oh, I'll show you, Steam. Come Guys, come on. We can't be fighting over stuff like this. As of right now, with what we've been given, we're going to assume that this ghost is real. If you don't want to believe it, you don't need to. But fighting over it is putting such a divide between us that it's causing more harm than good. And that's something we need to stop. We need to actually work together for wanting to take care of this. He's right. We can't just let it take take over us. Uh, I guess you're right. You're not gonna believe it. Oh, brother. What are we gonna do with you? I'm gonna take care of you, that's what. Oh, goodness. Alright. Now this is how things are gonna go. I've been thinking about it while I was taking my train. And this is what I think we should do. Why do you think he brought us here? Us specifically? Well, we all had encounters with the uh, ghost of some kind. The only one that hasn't is the child back here. Why exactly do you think he brought the child? I don't exactly think we need him. You know I can hear you, right? Yes, we're just messing with you. He is. I'm not. I'm very serious. Very, very serious. Wait, that was what I heard during the ghost encounter. Sister, stop! Hey! Long time no see. Been a while since I've seen you. Well, hi. I didn't think I'd see any of you guys ever again. Listen, this is not the right thing to do. Killing them in 24 hours? In all honesty, they didn't really do anything wrong. They were just doing what they were built for. To replace us. Which, I know we'd rather not, but that's what they were built for. Build something bigger? Just to replace the next thing. We were the exact same way. We did the same thing to a lot of other engines. Steam engines, I should say. 
like this little guy over here. He was built long ago, long before us. And we replaced him just like many before us replaced him as well. It's just a thing of life, I guess you could say. Something bigger and better comes along and we're meant to replace it. Just... It's just a thing of life, I guess you could say. Listen. I think it's time to move on. Even though we'd rather take care of and get rid of our problems. As you can see here, it's something that we just have to live with. Like the one to my left, he's the one who took the express away from me. But I'm not gonna make him resent it. It's like the diesels that took him away. We can't let things from our past or things that happened to us keep us from having a good impression while we're here. Or, in your case, having a bad impression while we come back. So, in this instance, I do think that it's time that you move on. Just like now, this will give me closure for your guys' untimely disappearance. Just like for you, I think this will be a good closing point. For all of us. Sister. You know it's time. It's time to go. Great seeing you again. That was a different whistle than when she's appeared all the other times, or disappeared. Yeah, it's definitely different. I think it might have been the sound of her moving on. Wait, so it's actually over? I think so. I think she's actually moved on. Sorry for any of the stuff that you guys heard while we were there. Oh. No, it's alright. You had to get something off your chest, and she clearly did as well. Yeah. Perfectly fine. Thanks, guys. You know what? I think it's time we go home and go to bed. We need it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Race you guys there. So that actually happened. Yes, uh, the ghost was actually real. Really? I'll be 100% honest, I thought it was you. I don't blame you, it was my sister after all. But she's been put to rest thankfully. That's good. Ah! Looks like he's finally out of the works. That's good. Yes, and it's good to be out of the works. With his new paint job as well. Welcome to the family. You be looking good. Oh Ooh, yeah, look at that. Good. Ooh, would you look at that Ooh. body? Yeah, thanks guys. Gotta be honest, the paint job I had last time was an absolute travesty. Yeah. That company has been blacklisted from being able to give us paint jobs for now on. Oh, thank goodness. I won't have to worry about that. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, you're here. Welcome. Engines. Uh, 
I have a special guest here today who has uh, been watching for a while. He has a little vacation home here on the railway. He's actually here about you. Me, sir? Yes, actually about you. He was very highly interested in you and how you got here. Engines, I would like you to meet this person. Would you like to take the stand? Thank you. It is good to finally meet you guys in person. My name is Sir Stephen Topham Hat the Third.